Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will show you how to upgrade the software on your console and also DP8000s. Unlike the full system restore which we covered in the previous tutorial, upgrading the software on your consoles does not erase the contents of your console's hard drive. However, it is still good practice to ensure that you have a copy of your backup file stored on an external device. For this demonstration, I have set up a network consisting of a HOG4 console and a DP8000, which are both running software version 1.2.0. The two are connected directly using a crossover cable using the HOGnet ports. We are first of all going to update the software on the console. Visit the High End Systems website and in the support section, download the software upgrade file and transfer to a USB flash drive. Unlike with the full system restore, the flash drive does not need to be configured as bootable and it can contain other files if you wish, as it will not be erased as part of this process. With your console logged out of the show, insert your USB drive and press the software update button. Locate and select the upgrade file and press OK. Confirm this action by pressing upgrade. The console will now automatically update its software and return to the splash screen showing the new software version when complete. Log back into your show and open the network window by pressing setup followed by the network soft key. This window shows the new software version for the console and also shows that the DP8000 is still running the older software. Because the software versions are different, the console cannot connect to the DP8000 and so it remains offline. The DP8000 display also shows that there is a software version mismatch. To update the DP8000 software, the network must first be configured for this. Set the DP8000 console link settings to DHCP. Next, open the HogNet settings on the console by pressing Setup followed by the Control Panel soft key and then select the HogNet tab. Ensure that the console is set to use default IP settings and then enable the DHCP server and also boot server. Apply these changes. Return to the network window and press the button to upgrade nodes. This will start the process of updating the software on your DP8000 and when ready it will reboot and connect to the console. There is another method that can be used to update the DP8000 in case of any difficulties sending the command from the console. You can perform a network boot, and this requires the same network settings and connections as before. Switch off the DP8000, then hold down all three buttons on the front of the DP8000 and switch it back on. You will see the message, Forcing Software Reload, displayed on the front panel. It will then proceed to update to the same software version as the console. Please be aware that this method will reset your DP8000 to default network settings. It is also possible to update the DP8000 using a USB flash drive and this does not require a console. Download the USB restore package from the support section of the High End Systems website. On the same web page you will also find a PDF document with detailed instructions for creating the required bootable USB drive. Unzip the contents of the downloaded package to the root directory of the bootable USB flash drive. Switch off the DP8000 and unplug the Ethernet cable from the HogNet port. Next, plug your USB flash drive into one of the ports on the back of the DP8000 and switch it back on. The DP8000 will then update and instruct you to remove the USB drive when ready. It will then automatically reboot into the new software version. This method will also restore default settings on your DP8000. Thank you for watching.